Hello and welcome to my reading, um, my life path fours. <laughs> my name's Jackie and my channel's Romany Tarot. So for this year, I thought I'd do something different. Um, I want to be concentrating on the numbers. So this is not the um, this is not the uh, month you was born. We're talking about the day you was born. So it's your birthday. So we're looking at the fourth here. We're looking at the fourth, the thirteenth the 22nd or the 31st so any of you born on them days any month it doesn't matter then you are a life path four all right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to pull uh, some uh, oracle cards we're going to pull uh, a couple of tarots and uh, yeah but before we get started let's have a look uh, so let's uh, see Let's have a look at this card and see. So uh, the number four, the life path four, is the house of Uranus. Um, as I said, it's the 4th, the 13th, the 22nd and the 31st. Viewing things. So we're just going to read a little bit here. Just skim the surface on the life path four. So life path fours view things from, a, from the opposite angle to everyone else. We'll always take the opposite side, bringing opposition making secret enemies who work against them sometimes. They reverse the order of things, making up their own rules as they go along. And why not? <laughs> Rebel against rules, regulations, unconventional in their views and opinions, but highly strung and sensitive. So they should try, life path four, so you should try and guard against jumping to conclusions or feeling personally attacked okay so that's just a little bit and as I say each reading I do with the life path numbers now this year uh, there will be something coming up you know something I bring up about each number that would be a bit different all right so uh, let's get on with the reading so of course uh, if we're looking at the number four we're looking at realistic thinking we're looking at development we're looking at keeping order, you know, keeping things in order. And we're also looking at the word protection. Okay, so let's see, just see what's going on for you, Life Path Fours. So I'm going to pull a card for each uh, date. So we're going to pull a card for the 4th, the 13th, the 22nd and the 31st. And the first card I'm going to pull is the, uh, I think I'll pull one from the Kipper. So I'm going to pull one card from the Kipper. What do we have for the fourth? For the, those of you born on the fourth. So let's have a look. Of course, I just want to mention, always read the description box below this uh, video in case I have something to say there. So it's always important to look at that. Because if this video turns, because my last three videos I've done have turned off before I've actually completely finished. And uh, yeah, it's giving me problems. So let's see. Right, the number four. What do we have? I'm going to take one here from the middle. Oh, we have lovers. Okay, that's nice. And for the 13th. What do we have for the 13th card, please, for the 13th? The 13th. All right, I'm going to take one from the middle. Oh, privileged lady. There we go. Oh man, <laughs> someone privileged there. And for the 20 seconds, those of you for the 20 second, we have mature woman. And those of you from the third we have a birthday on the 31st. Let's have a look. 
31st. All right, the 31st, we have message of concern. Okay, all right, so we're saying this is not specifically for, um, you know, whatever column resonates with you. Okay, Life Path Force. So maybe you might find you're the 22nd, but the 4th resonates or the 13th. You know, vice versa. So, you know, just take it as it comes. All right, the next card I'm going to pull is from the Lenormand. So I'm going to pull one card from the Lenormand for each of the dates. So the first card. Right, we have the star for the number four. Is lovely for the number 13 we've got uh, all nice cards here a uh, message of concern could be about anything doesn't have to be anything uh, drastic although it could be for some of you you know you have to be realistic as well okay two cards have fell off here so I'm going to take the first one here and I'm going to take this second one. So we've got the ring. So I'm going to put that one there and that one there. And we need one more card for the 31st. One more card please for the 31st. Okay, we have the stalk or the stalks. Okay, let's pull one now from the tea leaf. Right, I'm just going to put these up here quickly. Right, so now we need one card or a couple of cards from the tea leaf. These cards are really hard to shuffle. So many of them, look. Okay, I hope I'm speaking nice and loud and clear. Right, one card for the fourth. Here's one card for the fourth. that come out it's too many all right so what i'm going to do now i'm shuffling them i'm going to put them into four four piles and then we're going to take a card from the top of each all right so let me just cut the cards first and we're going to put that into four piles so number four number 13 Number 22 and number 31. All right, 31st. Okay, so I'm going to pull one here. So we have the feather. And this one, we have the scales for number 13. We have the grasshopper for number 22. We have the month of June for the number 31 all right so let's have a look let's pull one from the bottom so the bottom one is the gong for number four and with the scales for number 13 we have the boat number 22 with the grasshopper we have the caterpillar and for number 31, with the month of June, we have mice. Okay, something's going on here for you, those of you born on the 31st. 
Okay, let's put them to one side. Right, let's pull a tarot now. Uh, actually, I'll pull a tarot in a minute. Um, yeah, so let's have a look at number four. Let's see what we've got. Okay, so we've got the lovers number four. So this is uh, obviously a love situation where there's peace and harmony. And with that, you've got the um, you've got the star here. So this is uh, this is really nice to have with the lovers card. All right, that means you're destined uh, maybe to to be with the be with the person that you're with or the person that you're interested in. Um, yeah, something's going to happen here with these two cards. But let's just have a look at this feather. Let's see what this says. So you've got the feather. Someone you know is undependable and insincere. All right. So that doesn't mean the person, if you're in a relationship or you're interested, it doesn't mean the person uh, particularly that you're that you have got a love interest in. But uh, someone that is being insincere. So maybe someone's not telling the truth. Uh, that can mean a lot of things. Um, someone's not being honest in some way. All right. So someone's not being honest here. Uh, maybe not telling the truth or not coming out with something that's on their mind. Anything like that. All right. Number four. OK, so you do have the gong, an exciting event. All right. So something coming up that you could feel a bit excited about. Uh, this could be anything, all right. This could be a celebration, it could be a wedding, it could be a party, it could be a travel, anything like that. Maybe you're going somewhere. So let's just have a look. We'll elaborate on that in a minute. And uh, yeah, let's have a look. Let's go on. All right, so I'm going to pull a couple of tarot cards on there. Maybe if, um, as I just popped into my mind with those cards, um, maybe you need to be with that uh, sincere card with the feather. Maybe you, you need to be more open about your intentions or your feelings. Um, yeah. I need to be totally honest. Right, so I'm going to pull a couple of tarot now for the number four. Okay, those of you born on the fourth. Okay, so we've got three cards that flew over. Oh, loads of cards. Okay, so we're going to, we've got, oh, sorry, we've got to mention your number fours. That's your card, the Emperor. And the Emperor, oh no, the Hierophant's come over. But the Emperor there is your card for the number four this is all about um it's about a little bit about control as well you know sort of being in control or making you sure that you're the one that wears the pants sort of thing <laughs> um anyway let's have a look so you do have the hierophant so there could be a commitment coming up here for you you have the Two of Swords, all right? So remember that I said being sincere. So maybe there's a, a decision. I won't say a choice, but there's a, a hard decision that you need to make, all right? And it could be uh, one thing or the other because it's the two. But we do have the Sun. You have the Magician. Wow. So you have three major arcanas here. And you have the uh, Page of Swords, all right? So that's about your communication, all right? Uh, maybe tell someone what you plan to do, what you want to do with the, that magician card, what you want to start, begin, what you're manifesting, you know, what you, what are you manifesting, speak openly about it, be honest about it, all right, and then we have the sun, all right, so that, you know, that's, that's really nice, so that's about your happiness, you know, your joy and everything, the sun, so, um, yeah, maybe you're going somewhere, as well some of you might be thinking of taking holiday in the sun <laughs> all right but it's, there's a need here to make a decision about uh, maybe which way that you're going to make some sort of commitment here all right all right so i'll put that on there for now no i won't put it on now i'll put it back in the pile 
No, I will pull it on there, sorry. Because that's quite a few cards there. That's five cards you've got there that came over. Right, let's have a look at 13. All right, 13s. So we do have the privileged lady. So maybe you do, uh, you are quite privileged um, in the way that you don't uh, have to, what can I say? All right, we all work for a living. I know that. Um, but, you know, you're pretty comfortable. We won't go to extremes with the privileged lady. I mean, you are very privileged and you are very wealthy. But it just means that this, this uh, person, male or female, uh, doesn't have to do too much you know they can don't have to do too much I'd say for for a living um, it's not extreme so uh, whatever it is or they don't you know they don't need to work at all maybe the other other things going but you know whatever way it works for you all right we do have the coffin here which has thrown me a little bit so let's have a look at these cards uh, with that card so we have the scales keep your life in balance and we have the boat, all right? So this is money or property through an inheritance winning or windfall, all right? So maybe you have, you are privileged in the way that you've been left something by a loved one, a parent, anything like that. Um, as I say, an inheritance or anything, or you're just privileged, maybe your uh, relationship, you uh, both bring in, you know, equally as much. And, you know, you're not sort of really destitute or needing for something. But I do see some sort of uh, maybe an end in here with the, uh, uh, let's say the, the coffin, this would be the coffin. All right, so something here is uh, is ended. Whatever the ending is for you, you know, it could be anything, all right? But keep your life in balance, all right? So, you know, equal, you know, a balance in life, equal give and take. And the boat, money or property through an inheritance winning uh, winning or windfall. So anything like that, okay? So maybe some of you like a little flutter or a gamble in some way. But let's have a look at the tarot cards on that. I'm going to try and be a bit quicker here in case my um, recording switches off again. If it does switch off, guys, please do. And I don't get to finish Please do look out for part two because I'll just record the uh, the last or whatever it is of this reading. OK, right. So I want some cards for the 13th. So the 13th, those of you born on the 13th. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. OK, so we have a couple there. So the 13th, let's have a look. So the first card, okay, the Ten of Swords. All right, so this is the ending. Okay, what we see with the coffin there, you know, it's about uh, <clears throat> whatever it is that you have been going through. You know, you're going to sort of pick yourself up. Things can't get any worse. So this might be something more, uh, something you're going through that's a little bit more personal. All right, then we have the Queen of Swords. Uh, the Queen of Swords, sorry, there's a bit of noise in the background. I'm talking really loud on the phone. <clears throat> you have the Queen of Swords and you have the Nine of Cups, all right? So there's your privilege there with the Nine of Cups. <coughs> so excuse me. So that would be with the privileged lady or man, all right? So you do, you are content, I think, in your, maybe in your uh, surroundings and stuff like that. And, you know, money wise, you don't, you know, you're not destitute and you, you know, you can, you can get what you like sort of thing. You know, you don't have to worry too much about that. But other than that, um, or you have enough for you, you know, you're content with what you have. Um, this could be in any, any sort of uh, aspect. But I think with the coffin there, with the Ten of Swords, I think there's a difficulty you've just overcome some sort of difficulty there and we do have the uh, queen of swords there as well so yeah overcoming you know maybe uh, speaking up for yourself somewhere in this uh, situation that you've just uh, put an end to you know because when that comes up with the queen of swords it's like you know something is sort of done and dusted and you're not going to deal with it anymore okay 
Right, let's have a look at 22. Here we go, 22. We have the mature one, woman for the 22nd. We have the ring. So maybe some sort of commitment here. If you're committed to something anyway, it doesn't mean a commitment just in a relationship. It could be a commitment somewhere else. Maybe you're committed to yourself in doing something here in some way. Uh, we do have the grasshopper, which says um, situations in the balance that require careful handling. All right. And then you have the caterpillar. Which says things will not always be this way. A change is coming. All right. So I do feel that you, you uh, when I say you sort of committed to doing something, I'm just picking up here. You're committed to doing something that you need to do all right uh maybe you, you've got a, whatever it is that you've got to deal with you've got to do it carefully handle it carefully all right so be uh mindful of uh maybe whatever it is you've got to do the people around you or the person around you okay and then you have cat caterpillar things will not always be this way a change is coming so yeah that's like a transformation. So something here is going to transpire in some way for you. Let's have a look. Let's pull some tarot. Oh, one come out straight away. Let's have a look. What do we have for the number 22? Those of you born on the 22nd. What do we have? It's flipped over. Okay, the cards we have for you. We have the Knight of Wands. So we have fire energy there if we're looking at signs. Uh, signs on the table. For those of you that want to know, we have uh, Taurus, uh, Leo. Taurus, Leo. Uh, we also have Sagittarius here. Leo Sagittarius Aries or um yeah all the signs are here anyway guys okay all right so these are you've got the knight of wands you've got the uh ace of pentacles and you've got the page of cups all right so I think you're going to hear something through the grapevine or something like that that's the words that popped into my head about some sort of opportunity or offer that's coming in all right when it's coming in someone's going to come in uh pretty I think you're going to have to act pretty quickly when things start taking off. I think you're going to have to sort of really sort of uh, get your finger out and sort of really do something here. All right. Because we've got that change coming. OK, let's pull. Uh, let's have a look. Sorry, at the number 31. So those of you born on the 31st. OK, so we do have the message of concern. We have the stalks, all right? So this could be about um, maybe you're going to have to uh, uproot yourself in some way or maybe you're going to have to sort of leave the nest. Uh, something about or someone's leaving the nest, maybe a, a, one of your children or something like that. Um, yeah, but uh, I feel there's some uh, sort of travel. When I say travel, I mean whatever it is that you're going towards, uh, maybe the message of concern, something you've received, you may have to uh, get up or pop in the car and sort of go somewhere to sort something out here in some way. Uh, whatever it is, the month of June is important. Maybe some of you are Geminis or, you know, June, end of June, J July, you know, whatever, end of June, birthdays. We're looking at Cancerians as well. So Gemini, Cancerian. The month of June is significant to you. Maybe you're doing something in June or, you know, you're going somewhere in June. But we do have the mice, discord among friends and family. So this discord comes out with this message of concern. All right. So I think there's something that you're going to have to sort of deal with here amongst the rival family, friends or somebody there. OK, let's pull some tarot. There we go. There's one. All 
right, a couple more cards, please, for the 31st. Got to be quick. I've got just a feeling this um this video is going to cut out soon. <laughs> so let's hurry up. <laughs> okay, so you do have the 